Hey everybody, so it's, uh, I think it's Wednesday, uh, come on, um, we've had snow off and on all day, and, um, I just got up here, and, oh, look out there, that is Woody, come on baby girl, there we go, I'm gonna throw her, looky there, there they are, watch them stand up. There they are. Hey, Furby. And I got Furby up here on the porch. Here we go, guys. Ready? There's Woody. So, oh, there we go. So, um, I just gave Woody, and I'm not sure who that is. I think that's Simon, um, some hot dogs. And Buddy was just here. She did a real quick fly in and fly out. Um. She has had babies. Um, and you can tell by her chest. And uh, she came in, got some food, and then she took off really quick. But uh, I've got Furby right here with me right now. And uh, I think the snow is letting up a little bit. It hasn't st stuck to the road or to the grass. Um, I think it's a little bit warm. It's been like 34 all day. But um, we had a pretty rough storm blow through on Monday when Jim and I went to Halifax to see his surgeon. And um, it was like 55 mile an hour winds. I think it was like 90 kilometer, 90, 95 kilometer winds in um, metric system. And uh, a lot of rain, a lot of cars were off the road from hydroplaning. And um, it was a very long trip, um, hanging on tight to the windshield. Hey, baby girl. What you doing over there? I got you some water here. And as you can see... I didn't put the bird feeders out today. I gave them food. Here comes somebody. Hello. There's Bandit, everybody. Look at Bandit. Be nice, Furby. Don't growl. That was Bandit. Those beautiful eyes. He's such a pretty raccoon. He really is. Anyway, um, we have had a bear again. Um, he went over um, to Don's, and Don's got his compost bin right up against this house beside the porch. And um, Don called him on camera, and he broke the rope like it was just a twig uh, off the compost bin where it was uh, fastened. And um, he took what he wanted. Um, for those of you... Um, hey, baby girl. That, uh, hey, honey, you want a hot dog? You want mommy to get you a hot dog? You got one? Um, Flower, our raccoon, uh, she got hit by a car. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it was either Friday. There's Bandit again. Um, it was Friday or Saturday she got hit by a car. I think it was Friday afternoon. And um, she um, died. And uh, Jim and Don, uh, they buried her out in the field. Uh, back here to the right. Hello. Um, by the daisies. And... Um, Bless her little heart. She was a tiny little thing. Um, but, um, yeah, flower hour. Hang on, Woody, I'm coming. Flower hour. Um, hey, guys. Hang on. I'm coming. Here we go. There you go. Uh, she's gone. But someone came... Um, and took her place over the last couple of days. And um, 
they blasted somebody out here last night. I don't know if they was blasting a raccoon or if they were blasting uh, one of the coyotes, since we still have coyotes running around. And, um, but another skunk has taken her place. And, oh, goodness, I woke up this morning and the smell was horrific out here on the porch uh, as I was putting out the bird feeders. So, um, I'm going to go in in here in just a minute. And I'm going to let, there's Furby back there behind the gate. She's just like her daddy, isn't she, Mr. Scooter? And by the way, everyone, uh, Scooter came around 12.15 last night. His neck is looking better. Um, just thought I'd let you know. And um, it looks like his little neck is healing. Hey, you guys. Come on. Hey, Bandit. Hi, baby. Hi. And, um, his neck is healing really well. Krabby has come. Uh, I couldn't tell whether she has had babies. Hey, Chewy. There's Chewy down there at the bottom. Oops, he ran. And, um, I'll get you a hot dog, buddy. Hang on. Uh, anyway. What was this thing? Krabby's come. I couldn't tell whether she has babies. But I saw Buddy tonight. That was the best part. And, hey, baby. Buddy's got some babies somewhere. So... We're going to get to see babies in June or the beginning of July. If y'all remember last year, uh, it was when I came up to see Jim. That's when she brought Furby and Foxy. So, yeah, so it will probably be about then because they were born in uh, late April last year. So, Furby is a year old now. Yeah, she loves her water. Yeah, she's a good girl. What you watching, baby girl? Something out there? Huh? You watching? Yeah? So, I'm going to go in, and uh, I am going to let you all hear from Jim. I still smell that skunk. Oh, my goodness. Honey? I'm recording. Uh, yeah, I will. We got raccoons. Raccoons. Yeah, and I was telling them about how Buddy, she's got babies somewhere. Yeah, that's why they're not coming around much. Yep, and I was telling them about the bear over at Dawn's and yeah. Cody's and everything. And, I, and I'm froze up again. You got fever? Yes. Yeah. So do you want to tell them or you want me to tell them what all we found out on Monday? You can, uh, well, you know more about it than I do. I get confused. Okay. Yeah. So we did go and see the surgeon, and uh, he did confirm that the tumor has grown double in size. It is part cystic, and it is part solid. The solid has replicated itself um, over the last seven years, yeah. and um, it's got to come out. And... Um, when you do have the surgery, if you have the surgery, and I'll explain that in a minute, um, you will be in the hospital for three weeks. Yeah. And um, this is going to make your gallbladder surgery seem like a walk in the park yeah. compared to what this is going to be. Yeah. Uh, you're going to be cut in two different places, the front and the back. Yeah. And they will be fixing the hernia at the same time. Yeah. Um, it is non-invasive. Uh, the tumor at the moment, and he's going to try to save 
uh, the bottom part of the colon of the anus and the rectum but he can't guarantee it and um, if he can't because of some nerve damage or ne necrotic stuff uh, you will have a colostomy back. Yeah. And, um... <clears throat> and I told him it would be better to be alive than, than have that, you know. Yeah. So, um, with that said, he is doing further tests because he clarified for us that your low hemoglobins and your need for iron, um, is a... Uh, happening because you're bleeding out somewhere yeah. is what he said um, and he is going to have your uh, an upper scope done on your stomach they're gonna go down your throat and you're gonna have that done to see if you have a bleeding ulcer or what's going on in there and they're also going to do a cat scan of your lungs to check for tumors in there yeah and if there's tumors found or um, anything serious else going on they're not going to do the surgery no uh, they don't see any need for it and um, but if you get the all clear and they find out why you're bleeding and why you're having all these fevers um, you they'll put you on the schedule which is a you go into a lineup and then they just schedule it whenever it could be three months out you could could be August Correct? Yeah, yeah. Yep. I think they're going to try to go as soon as they can. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, did I, I think I covered everything. He said he may check your bone marrow if you're not bleeding in yeah, your stomach. Yeah, yeah. You're going to, that's, to see that's uh, why you're not making blood. That's if, painful. Yeah. Um, but uh, he did say that you would have a significant decline. Um, after the surgery, to, I won't be back to where I was. You won't be no. where you are ever again. No. Um, he said, um, your quality of life will definitely be different and lower than it is now. You'll never be up as high as you are now. No, no. After the surgery, uh, you could have some cognitive problems. You'll be slower getting around. Um, it won't be as easy for you anymore. I'm slow now. Yeah, well. You'll be like Tim on Carol Burnett. You'll be scooting your feet then. Yeah. 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 Just, I'm just kidding. You know that. Yeah. Uh, we're going to make the best of it. Right? We're going to get there, aren't we? And if Barb, if you're listening, I might borrow the uh, the, the walker. <laughs> yeah. That I got for Ron that time. Yeah. If nobody's using it. But uh, as soon as we get all these extra tests out of the way... You and I are going to do a little bit of gallivanting around and doing a few things that we wanted to do before you have the surgery. Oh, God, yeah, because I won't be able to do it. won't be able to do it for a long, no. long time. No, I won't be able to sit in the chair. No. No, I have to be laying in bed. No, you won't. No. But, you know, we're going to get there. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, is that a good update? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And I'm glad for all the prayers I'm getting, and especially from uh, from Bishop Kulik. Thank you very much. We got your gifts today. Yes. I and, sure, yeah, go ahead. Sure appreciate it. And uh, you sent me a nice picture of him with the Pope. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And there have been a lot of people concerned about you on the Facebook page and in the comments. Yeah. Uh, they're saying a lot of prayers and sending positive and, energy and, and, for and you. The fan club too. Yes, your fan club. They're doing yeah. a lot of good for you. Yeah. Yeah. And Blue Lobster misses me. Yes, they do. Yeah, I saw something to Stephanie today. Yep, they really do. Yeah. They miss you. And then uh, we've got, I have become good friends with our neighbors and they're keeping my spirits up. Don and Laura. Yeah. They're wonderful. Well, he's been a, a godsend. Oh, you know, that whole family over, has been wonderful. Over doing stuff for me. And yep. So, um, I think that's it. He's going to take all them branches down and burn them. Yeah, he is. From the, from the, uh, we had such a windstorm that Monday. 
Oh, I was telling them about how, oh. how bad it was raining That's, and everything when we went to Halifax and, and cars uh, off the road and everything. And uh, the best I could do was uh, 80 kilometers in the 110 zone. That's as fast as you could go and then they had the wipers on full and you still couldn't see. I know. Yeah, and we get soaked going into the hospital. Yeah, we look like two little wet rats. Yeah, well, that shouldn't have happened. I know. Well, we're not going to talk about what happened in the parking no, lot. Oh, that was terrible with that photo. It, it, it was bad. Huh? It was bad. He was bad. He, I mean, that yeah. was ignorant. Uh, shh. Anyway, um, and uh, as everyone knows, his team didn't make it into the playoffs. No, they didn't. They choked. Yep, they, they choked. Had, in the last period, they had a minute left, they were ahead, and all they had to do was shoot the puck over the blue line a couple of times, and they would have made it, but they couldn't get their hands on the puck, and then they tied it up and lost it in overtime. But I know. My playing. team lost, too. But, yeah, we'll see. Tampa the Bay lost. The Panthers beat Toronto, and I'll tell you, Toronto got to realize uh, they got to step up their game. These guys are not to be fooled with. No. No. These no, they want it. They've got it. They're really wanting this. Oh yeah, the Panthers are just They they've got it in they've got hungry. a taste they've got a taste of it. And they're yeah. really wanting it. So yeah. And the Avalanche are gone and they were the winners. They last were last year. year's yeah, Stanley Cup winners. Yeah. So yeah. they're gone. Yep. So I'm just sitting here and under this blanket that keeps me warm and a sweater on and yeah. she checks my temperature all the time and Yep. You already been fed this evening. Yeah, I'm up over 100 now, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. it's 100.7 Yeah. Uh, the last hour it was. Yeah. So, and it's 35 outside. I think the snow's stopped. Yeah, so. it's snowing all afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to go check and see if any more raccoons are out there. Alrighty. So, uh, and there's the little dude. He's in his... He's asleep. He's in the house. Yep. Like, He's asleep in the house. Yep. Light. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're gonna be on mute. Yeah, we're gonna. I'll be. I'll be back in just a second, sweetie. Yeah. So, looky there. We have raccoons, and they got into the hot dogs there on the bucket. Oh, that one's kind of shy. He likes the seeds. Hello. Hey, Furby. Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby. You want me to get you another hot dog? Hello. Hang on, baby. Mommy will get you one. Hi. There. Anyway. Well, that's it, everybody, and um, I hope you have a wonderful night, and we will talk to you all later on this week, okay? Take it easy. I hope you have a wonderful week, and we will get another video out, hopefully, tomorrow. If not tomorrow, hopefully on Friday. So take care. Thanks for all your support, and hit subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. We're going to try to get to 600,000 before Jim's birthday in July. So, share videos if you can. We'd appreciate it. Thanks. Bye-bye.